What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Our Streamers Cheaters. Today we're going to be talking about a YouTuber and a Twitch TV streamer called Convolk JT. Now this guy has been known for cheating in the past and he's honest about that on his YouTube channel. However, he claims that now he does not cheat and he strictly plays properly. However, we have plenty of clips to prove otherwise. So we're going to take a look at them clips today, but before we do, let me say, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes. Also, follow me on Twitter, at BadBoyBeeman. This is the best way for you guys to contact me about any streamers who you believe are cheating, no matter how big or small the streamer is. Right, let's crack on with the video. This is Convolk JT's YouTube channel. He's got 1.8k subscribers, not that many. However, if you read the description, it says, cheated in the past, don't cheat now, have multiple world records. Okay, let's go on and take a look at his Twitch channel now as well. This is his Twitch channel with 1.4k followers, Convolk JT. So overall, the guy has got 3.2k of a following, which isn't that much. But again, it doesn't matter how big or small they are. If they are cheating, we will catch them. Let's take a look now at some of his gameplay. So what I'd like to point out now is that he does have his monitor on show on his webcam in the bottom left hand corner. So that will say to us that he's not using wall hacks. Okay, so we're not looking at wall hacks throughout this gameplay. Watch how he aims and where it hits on the enemy. Every time, just look at it and watch and tell me that this guy is not toggling aimbot on and off. The guy is on keyboard and mouse and there seems to be a rather strong aim assist. Let's watch this now. Let's go. Oh, you could see from that clip that it locks onto the enemy's head. Until the enemy's down, it seems that he doesn't have it, so it locks onto down players. But you can clearly see it locking onto the enemy's head. Let's watch it again now, but in slow motion. Let's go. Oh, suck my cock. To me, that is absolutely undeniable proof. It locks onto the enemy's head until the enemy's down, and then the lock disappears, and he has to spray the body to actually finish the enemy off. Let's go on to the next clip now. Now, what you will notice on this clip is that he does have a hand cam as well as a monitor, so you can see his keyboard and mouse and his monitor. So you will see flicks on his arm throughout this gameplay, but what I will say is you can flick towards an enemy and then toggle the aimbot at the same time so it locks to the head and just watch how he's locking onto enemies' heads all the way through this short clip. This is in multiplayer, so watch now, and then we will slow it down afterwards. So as mentioned, it's a very short clip, very fast pace as well. So we'll go back and we'll slow it down for you so you can see how he is locking onto people's heads. And this shows to me that he is toggling aimbot off and on as well. So what do you guys think of that? I think that he's locking onto people's heads by toggling aimbot off and on. You see that he missed towards that last guy and then it auto adjusts. If you watch his wrist throughout the gameplay as well, it doesn't actually match up fully. Not whatsoever. And it's not actually the best quality on the hand cam either. So I think that that's done purposely. 
However, you can see when it is locking onto enemies throughout that whole gameplay. Let's go on to the next clip now. So in this clip, you will see him run through the door in bunker and turn right instantly and it locks onto the enemy's head who's just on the outside of that door. He possibly heard him. As you can see, his monitor's on show, although it's not much of his monitor. You could see if he had wall hacks or not. Who knows? He could have a 2D radar in the top left corner that we can't see on his monitor. But that's besides the point. Watch where his aim locks to as he shoots at the enemy. what we'll do now we'll go back we'll slow it down and you can see how it locks onto the enemy's head so from this point here let's slow it down now oh What do you think of that? That to me is very suspicious the way he turns that corner and locks onto the enemy's head instantly. Let's go on to the next clip now. Okay, this is a clip where he actually decides to analyze a clip where somebody's accused him of using aimbot. And he says, how can this be aimbot? However, we've already mentioned that I believe he's toggling it off and on. So in this instance, I believe that he's missing his shot. He tries to toggle the aimbot on. But instead of hitting the enemy he's originally shooting at, he locks onto the head of an enemy who's behind him and then goes back to the original enemy he was shooting at. But he's claiming that it's not aimbot because of how many shots he missed on the original enemy. Watch the clip now and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. By the way, I have aimbot, apparently. This is my best game ever. Look at that tracking. If they know anything about aimbot, they would lock onto it. So, uh... so he's claiming that not to be aimbot. However, when he comes down the stairs from this point, locks onto the enemy's head. Then he goes for the second enemy, but for some reason, he's decided not to use his aimbot. And I know... It seems crazy, okay? But we've already seen that you can toggle it off and on. You can use a foot pedal. You can use your mouse. Any key you want on your keyboard. If you're using controller, you can use any button you want on your controller as well. So this is a bit strange for me. Either that or his aimbot was actually playing up because he's locked onto the first guy's head and then he sprays and misses loads in this instance. Until then... He's still meant to be shooting at this guy here, but it's locked onto this third enemy's head until he's downed. And then you see it auto snap to this enemy's way, head. Aimbot, apparently. So watch it again as he analyzes it, and you'll see. Look at that Headshot. Ray, right, miss. Fair enough. But as he's still following that guy, it locks onto that guy and then kills him as well. Every single one of them died to headshots as well every single one of them died to headshots so although in this clip he's trying to debunk it by saying but i missed a few shots here every single one of them kills was snapped onto the head and that to me shows aimbot and as i've already mentioned in many videos in the past aimbot can even mess up sometimes it can miss shots as well but also it can be toggled off and on and that's the main focus i think with this guy let's go on to the next clip now okay to me the tracking of the enemy who's dropping in in the first kill seems extremely sus although he misses a lot of shots we've already covered that in the past of how it's possible but he still manages to kill him but the second enemy who he kills he doesn't see on the uav but he manages to snap directly onto him and kill him watch this oh that was dirty that was dirty what? too okay how did he know that guy was there in this window? Let's watch it again in slow motion. That was dirty. That was... That was dirty. 
What do you guys think of that one? Do you think that's just brilliant mouse control or do you think that he's locking onto the enemy in that window? Let me know in the comments below. Let's move on to the next clip. So in this clip you will see the enemy who is stood on top of the garages jump off to the left. His aim tracks perfectly to the head until the enemy's down but you'll see a little bit of a glitch in the situation as well which is extremely suspicious in my opinion. Let's watch it now. You might not see much in that. We're going to go back. We're going to slow it down. Oh. Other than when the enemy actually jumped to the left, you can see that his aimbot struggled to keep up with the speed of the enemy, and it sort of slowed and then magnetized itself straight back to the head, causing the extra snap effect. So although he was already shooting directly at the enemy on top of the garage as he jumped off, faster than the aimbot can keep up, probably to do with the aim speed or smoothness. It snaps onto the head right at the last second and you see it clear as day, especially when it's slowed down like that. Again, this is another short clip, but what you will see is it actually snaps on to the enemy's head. Convol JT is snapping onto the enemy's head. He stops aiming for a quick second and then snaps back onto the enemy again. Watch. So you see that he's perfectly tracking the enemy's head until he's down. And then as he jumps to the right, his aim slightly to the left of the enemy, but it snaps straight back to the enemy's head. Let's watch that again in slow motion. I just don't think there's any more needed for this video, guys. There we have it. Well, there we have it, guys. Convolt JT is still snapping onto people all over the place. Although he claims that he's cheated in the past and he doesn't anymore, the guy is still an avid cheater. Even though he's got his monitor on show on his webcam, you can clearly see that he's snapping onto people. Having a monitor cam does not prove that you are using aimbot or not. It can only determine whether or not the guy is using wall hacks, which we cannot see from any of the footage on his webcam. If you've enjoyed the video, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes. I think we can do it. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. Do you believe Convolk JT is actually cheating, or do you see something different? If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. If you want to support the channel further, hit that blue join button on the channel. Become a paying member of the Triple B fam. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at BadBoyBeeman. The best way for you guys to contact me about any streamers who you believe are cheating, no matter how big or small a stream it is. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. Pu -pu -pu. Peace!